Hey, what's going on everyone? Thanks for tuning in to another video. Um, for today's fly, I'm going to be starting off with a size 12 uh, streamer hook. This is a 3x long. Um, I chose this hook simply because of the, the length of it um, and the weight of it as well. Uh, that's going to be accompanied by a 3.2 uh, millimeter tangerine bead. And for my thread, I'm just gonna be using some standard black uh, UTC uh, 70 denier. And we're gonna go ahead and start our thread base. I'm going to stop right for the bend of the hook for a little hot spot I'm going to be using some uh, trout ice dub and I'm going to be using the rusty brown and I'll be using that same color actually for um, for the thorax as well but for this tiny little tail hot spot you only need a just a smudge of it and I want to make sure that noodle is nice and tight For the tail, I'm just going to use some standard black goose biots. And I'll tie these one by one on each side. I'll eyeball a measurement and then just do two collecting wraps and then adjust the adjust them as I see fit. That looks good about there. And now I'm gonna lock in the rest of the buyouts. Now for the ribbing, going to be using some small orange ultra wire and I just cut off about a three inch a three inch piece uh, piece and I'm going to secure this in on the underside of the fly And I'm going to stop right at the, the end of the tail there. A little counterclockwise spin on the thread. Uh, and I want to start building up my body. Now, considering this is a thread body stonefly, um, I've tried this with uh, 
140 denier and although it was nice for creating the body it was just a lot quicker when it came down to tying in all the other materials um it was just getting more and more difficult it was starting to bulk up near the bead so i stuck with the 70 denier Okay, so that looks about okay. Got a nice little taper going on. You're gonna grab your wire, and then you can just start making some wraps. Helicopter that off. Now for the, I guess the first set of legs, I'm gonna bring this back and I'm basically gonna size out where my, where my thorax is gonna be and how big I want that. looks about right about there and now for my first set of legs I'm also going to grab those same black goose biots I'm just going to fix this first this side again size you know the length of uh, how you want these is up to you I keep them tell about their when they're touching the tail Now for my wing case, um, I'm going to be using, this is actually Karani skin from, from Togans um, that I typically use to, to tie Karanamids, um, but I'm using it because I actually just like the way it turned out. I like the, the color, um, it matched perfectly with the fly design and just enough of a hot spot where it wasn't overbearing. And I'll tie that in making sure it's perfectly centered on the hook. And now I'm going to grab some uh, two millimeter scud back.
This is the main part of the wing case. And I'll cut off about an inch, an inch and a half sometimes to make it a little bit easier to tie in. And again, just making sure that's nice and centered on top of the hook shank. I'm just gonna check where I'm at here. Not bad. Now time for the thorax. Um, for the thorax, again, I'm gonna be using that same rusty brown um, trout ice dub. Just gonna do one little sort of preliminary layer, and I'm gonna end my thread in the in the middle of the the thorax there, so I can add some legs. For the legs, I'm just gonna be using some solid black silly legs. I'm gonna find that midway point. So just some collecting wraps. I'm gonna adjust the legs, make sure they sitting where I want them to sit. And now I'm gonna grab some more of the ice dub and it's more so just to cover some of those thread wraps that I did when I tied on the legs. And I'm also gonna use this ice dub to help push my legs back. And I'm gonna put some more now to help push my legs forward so they're more they're more splayed out. And then I'm gonna end my thread behind the bead, but in front of the front legs. Now you can grab your black scud back. Make sure it's nice and centered. Give it a little stretch, not too much. Dip it off. I'm gonna grab your, well in this case the Karani skid, but um, I mean you can use any type of uh, sort of uni mylar or tinsel. Make sure that's nice and uh, centered.
There we go, and now we're ready for a whip finish. Just pull all those legs back. Seat the knot. Nip her off. Now for the legs, I mean, you can tie these to any length you wish. I like to start off even, so I'll pull them all up. And then I'll, I'll give it about, sorry if I was blocking you there, I'll pull them all up. And then I don't know, about an inch or so, give them all a nip at once. Now they're all gonna be the same length and now you can adjust, you know, the length of either just the back legs or just the front um, or all of them. So in this case, I'm just gonna shorten up the, the front ones just a bit and I'll leave those back legs Nice and long. Get some good movement in the water. I know stoneflies traditionally have like six legs, but I forget who said it. I read it on a on another video. They said if the fish start counting legs, we have bigger problems. Um, so last step is we're going to be grabbing um, any. UV resin, in this case I like the Golf Classic. It's not too thick and not too thin where it starts to settle in right away. Actually, I'm just gonna make sure this dubbing is down and out of the way. What I like about the Golf Classic is it it settles slowly and gives me just enough time to make any adjustments I need. And I'll bring the UV resin sort of right back and touching the thread. Hit that with the UV light. And there you have it. One thread body stonefly. Um, you can you can tie these in any colors. I just happen to like this this rusty brown and the orange um, matching with the copper wire. But I, I mean, I've tied these with you know pink thoraxes, um, pink ultra wire. Um, I mean, mix and match all you want. Um, but I like the blacks. The black stoneflies seem to work really good for me for steelhead. So again, thanks for watching guys. Um, appreciate all the support. Hope you subscribe and hope you tune into the next video. Thanks a lot guys. Cheers.